you've always been fascinated by these woods, haven't you? Can you tell us what you think is so important about them? Well, the more we look, the more important it all seems. It started off for me about 30 odd years ago when I used to bring my dog for a walk and I would find a stone here and a stone there and the more I looked, the more I found. And then about 12 years ago, I started more seriously uh, researching it and I found that there were no record of these walls anywhere. I tried Aberystwyth and then uh, archaeologists and so forth. And then about four years ago, a local councillor uh, heard about them, he knocked my door and he really set the ball rolling. And then archaeologists were employed and it just snowballed from there and it turned out to be a huge, huge project. Great, so the archaeologists have found a lot of stuff here. Oh, definitely. Right, so shall Unfortunately, we... Unfortunately, the more we find, the more questions are to be asked. It's always the way of it, it isn't is. it? So shall we go and see what they've been finding? Very good. Well, Roger, you directed archaeological work in the wood. Uh, part of that work was the, the walls themselves, and you've decided they're medieval. Why? Yes, mainly because of the nature of the structure of them. So this could actually have been part of a Grange boundary then? It could well have been a Grange boundary. Um, the Ancient Cumberland Society called me in to look at just that, and They've taken me and shown me other Grange boundaries up at nearby entries. Right. That's fascinating. But the story actually is much more ancient than that, in the sense that we're standing in something which is much older still, aren't we? Yes. Uh, we are stood on the site of a late Bronze Age round barrel, a burial site in fact, and uh, as you say, predates everything else here. Which is, which is fascinating. But at the end of the day, a lot of this landscape was shaped in the Middle Ages. And there's something else which is quite interesting down here, isn't there? Yes, just over the bank in from us, there's a well site. It's a formal well, um, and that's probably medieval as well. So the well could actually have been used by the pilgrims? Yes, it's very likely to have been used by the pilgrims. Right, OK. So let's follow the way that the pilgrims would have gone then, up over the hill. 